Today, we're competing against one of the world's best golfers, Ricky Fowler. But not the Ricky you know and love today. We're competing against teenage Ricky Fowler. You see, Ricky grew up in this area and attended Marietta Valley High School just around the corner and competed there from 2004 to 2007. And during that time, he set the course record here at Temecula Creek Golf Club. He was playing the Stone House and Oaks courses, and he shot a 10 under 62, which still stands today. I'm going to try to beat teenage Ricky Fowler, but with one little twist, I'm going to do it from the forward tee. Short side of myself a little bit here in two on this par five. I'm gonna go low. We're still gonna have a long putt either way. I'm not gonna risk it too much. Try to play it as safe as possible. All right, nice little 20 footer for birdie here. I believe Ricky eagled this hole, so we're gonna be at best one shot back of where Ricky was. Big breaker right to the left. Greens look pretty pure. at least two back. So Ricky Fowler, one of the greatest players on the planet right now and for a long time, he is from this area, Marietta, California. And here at Temecula Creek Inn is where we're playing, playing the Stone House and the Oaks course. They have 27 holes, phenomenal place to play golf if you're in the area. I'll leave a link in the video description below. I'm staying at Pachanga Resort. That's awesome. Lose all your money, play a lot of golf, have a great time. Anyways. He shot a 62 on these courses as a teenager and just like lit it apart. And he played the tips and that would max out about 66, 6,700 yards. Well, I'm trying to beat him from the forward tees at about 5,700 yards, give or take. Hole two is a 300 yard par four. I've got to hit an iron here. You do not want to be in trouble it's actually a little bit easier from the back tees. Let's hit a four iron, put it out there. See what I mean? There's some holes that are tricky. I hit a good four iron, just rolls down through the fairway. So I've got 130 left. I'm gonna hit an eight iron punch under this tree, try to get it chasing up there. At least I got a good angle in there, so that's good. I hit it well, I just cut it more limbs than I wanted. I'm chipping up with the seven iron. That's a good speed. All right, doesn't turn left till the end. But just try to save par here and move on. This is quick coming out of this hill. I'm assuming Ricky didn't miss any putts. Whew, I can feel the speed of this. Just gotta hit it firm and trust my stroke all right although I'm even par I, I'm moving backwards my friends I hate to interrupt but seven diamonds is having their one and only sale so for the next 30 days you get 30% off how exciting so just use the code in the video description below and you will be all set. Now, back to the video. Third hole here, Ricky played it back at 402 yards. I'm up here at 320. Gonna keep her in the fairway again. Well, hopefully for once. My goal is to uh, let the wedges be the, uh, the thing I'm gonna lean on today. We're gonna need a good, ba uh, good break. It's a bad iron shot. Good news, there was golf course way right. I didn't even know it. 78 yards, 60 degree wedge. Mm -hmm. Got a look. 15 footer, pretty level. Maybe just a touch down, if anything. 
we're gonna have to go on a tear here if we're gonna catch Ricky. I'm assuming Ricky being from this area, one, had played this course 100 times or more and definitely knew the greens. Just shot in the dark. I didn't hit it. It, was, it looked pretty quick. I would have hit driver off the tee box had I had known how wide open it was down here. So I need a few more trips around this course to really know it. But all right, well, we're not giving up. Fourth hole here at Stonehouse. Ricky played it from 331 yards. We're gonna play it from 254. This really isn't in the way. The hole's over here. And uh, so it looks like, although I feel a little claustrophobic over here, we got plenty of room, three wood. Okay, just came up a little short. We'll just pitch it up there. Hopefully have a short uh, kick in when we're all said and done. Pretty close. Mm. I, I channeled my inner, inner Ricky Fowler there. I was just like, just hit it, pick it up and hit it as firm and as confidently as possible. Thanks, Ricky. Fifth hole, par three. Ricky played at 180. We're at 147. Does play a little uphill, so I have an eight iron. My ball actually hit here, pretty close to pin high, but it, uh, there's a ridge here. It's kind of cool. And my ball's here, so I've got a kind of a long putt. The good news is I am from close by here, so I'm very familiar with these types of greens. Didn't hit it. All right, another par here. Ricky shot 10 under on the round. We're currently one under. We got a long way to go, but no worries. The number one handicap hole is next. Number six, Ricky played it here at 416 yards. We're here at 320. There's no real advantage of hitting driver because that'll leave me anywhere from 20 to 60 yards and that's gonna be a tricky shot. I'd rather have 100. So we'll do that four iron here. Perfect. All right, 111 to the tiny little green we got down there. I'm gonna go three quarter, 50 degree wedge. Oh, I yanked it. Not great. <laughs> Have to put that in the memory banks for next time. Trick a little bunker shot here. That's it. All right, I'll take it. Sometimes you gotta put those wedge shots in the memory banks so that you don't do them over and over and over the whole round. All right, I was a little too scared of the second shot and you can't be that. Ricky wasn't scared, I bet. He just like didn't care. He knew what he was gonna do. So I gotta get rid of that fear. I just gotta go for it. I gotta, I gotta channel the inner Ricky, not just putting, but wedge shot game. Let's go, Ricky. So I figure why not transform our break 60 series into something like this, where we're trying to break the course record from a pro, but from the forward tees. Seventh hole, Ricky played it from all the way back here, 351, but we're all the way up here, 305. And although I can't reach it, I can get pretty close and I'm assuming Ricky got pretty close as well. All right, I guess I thought it hopped in the bunker, but it just, just missed it. Good thing, that'd be short-sided. Let's see what we can do here. Not a hard chip shot. 
All right, Ricky. I didn't even have to line that one up. Two under, coming at you. Did you, did, did you birdie? Yeah, you did, you birdie this hole. Number eight, Ricky's back there, 165. We get a nice short 142 yard par three to the stick today. And I love a little feature like right in the way. I, I, I like that. It's not in the way, but it's, it helps define and shape the hole. A little oak tree, nine iron for me. Should be a pretty good number for me. It's a little breeze into us, not much. Usually like a 145 with this club. Yeah, just under the hole, pretty good. Now that I'm up here, you can really feel the breeze. So that nine iron went about 130 yards, maybe less. Let's bump back a little bit so we can get a good look here. It's a long putt, but there's not a whole lot of break to it. So we're just coming back up the hill. We know the greens are a little slower in here in the morning. And this one, something to remember, a pro tip for you. This green, our line is primarily in the shadow, which has been in all day. So the sun hasn't hit it. So it's gonna be a little more moist which is gonna slow it down. I think the majority slope is gonna pull it left. Had good speed. I think it pushed it right. There's a big mountain right here. But there's mountains over here too, so. Just gotta kinda of factor all that in. Man, Ricky's pretty good. <laughs> or should I say, teenage Ricky is pretty good. I mean, adult Ricky's good. But man, the kids, <sighs> they're tough. Number nine is a par five. Ricky played it right here. 555 yard par five. I get a little bit of a head start, like a 130 yard head start. We're gonna be at 429. Sometimes you just have to hit a good drive. I'm gonna channel my uh, Ricky Fowler inner confidence right now. and. Uh, Summon up. It's a good drive. Oh, lost my balance, but I think that's pretty good. Just down the left side. Got a weird kick. We'll see. All right, here's how we calculate things. Pro tip 157 to the pin. Pin's way up front, front left. Water and stuff. I don't want to mess with that. I want to be a little bit longer. So 157, 165. Now, I'm on this crazy slope here. So I've got to choke down something to have a chance. So I'm taking my 180 club, there's plus a little breeze into my face, and uh, this might get it there, but we're gonna have to hit a great shot. It's gonna draw, there's pylons there to the right center of the green. That's kind of my number or my aiming point. It should draw, so just hopefully don't lose my footing. We should be good have a chance to get it on this par five and two. Well, I did just what I wanted. And I'm on. Beautiful. Not all 157 yard shots are created equal. I got this huge slope here. The higher I take it, the faster it runs down. So I can't take it too high. Maybe I'll split the difference here, go halfway. It's gonna give me a little bit longer putt light, but it's fast, so you gotta be careful. Yeah, that's kind of what I wanted. Although we wanted Eagle, we got a good look at Birdie. Whew, sneaked her in, side door. Not the easiest two putt Birdie I've ever had. We're three under on the front. We're gonna need to be like seven on the back to catch Ricky. This guy's unstoppable though. Whew. You get hot, he just stayed hot. Now we're turning to the Oaks course, first hole or our 10th hole. Ricky would play it from 372. We're playing it from 273. If you got number problems like me, I'm totally discombobulated. All right, just had to wait for the guys to clear. Because on the last one, I almost uh, drove the green on them. Oh, 
All right, just left of the green. Hit a bullet down there with that back left pin. I kind of short-sided myself here. I'm pin high, try to take it as high as I can. I can't do better than that. I think I got you on that one, Ricky. Those shots are just 100% feel and then 100% practice. And these four footers are just 100% confidence. I'm just, all I'm doing is channeling my inner Ricky. That's all I can do. I should do that more often. Putting is feeling good. Our 11th hole for Ricky, it's a 498 yard par five. And we get it at 465 yard par five. It's a good number for a par five for me. <laughs> I just wish I could swing like Ricky. I like his old swing, whatever that looked like. I like his new swing too. He just looks like freed up. Just whoosh. I like that. I feel like I'm like just stiff a lot of times. I've been working on my shoulder alignment. Ever since I've been doing that, I feel like I'm getting a little bit more pop, more distance on that ball. I'm gonna aim at that bigger tree on the right and try to cut out a little cut off of that. It's pretty much where I wanted it. It felt great. All right, they just overseeded the fairways here. There's great shape still. 187 I have. I'm gonna choke down a little five iron here and smooth. Try to hit that little that little bleeder to the right again. Just went straight, I hit it really good though. I think we're putting. A little pro tip for you. When they are overseeding like this and they let the fairways grow a little bit longer than normal, which is expected, take a little extra club because the grass is typically going to be more moist with the water they put on there. So you're probably not going to catch uh, too many flyers. So that's why I did the five iron there instead of a six because the grass is a little stickier and it holds up your club a little. <laughs> Fun little pin placement. We got a slope coming down there. And this the whole thing feeds this direction. And as I repair divot, you know, you get to feel the moisture content of the greens. Not on purpose, but like just on accident, which is good. You can pick my line. It's going to kind of go this way. And then once it gets over the ridge, it, it comes down and veers off to the right a little. So I'm kind of starting this just left of the hole. It'll kick left and then come back to the right. At least that's my theory here. All right, stay there, stay there, stay there. Whew. They're rolling pure. Just gotta give them a little more pace, but I'll take that. We're chipping away at you, Ricky. I think he eagled this though, so I'm still losing ground. 12 is a par three. Ricky played it here from 179 yards. And we get it today at a whopping 98 yards. Let's see what we can't muster up here. Got to work on my wedge game. <laughs> All right, that wasn't as bad as it looked from the tee box. We only got about 15 feet. We're just off the green. A little right to left breaker. So I'm about a cup, not even a cup, out to the right. Just got to get the speed right. It's just gonna come a little bit left off this fringe. Oh. I thought that fringe would hop it left a little bit more. Disappointing par there, but all right, it's okay. 13, Ricky would have played here at 404 yards, par four. I love hitting into a mountain backdrop. It's really cool, because usually you could see the ball just flying the whole time. It's cool. And good news, we still get the mountain backdrop to hit into, but we get to play this hole at 355 yards. We're going to go driver today. Almost killed the guys in front of me. 
totally hit into him. Apparently the fairway goes a little more right than left, but left is safe, unless you go here, but whatever. Little wedge, 100 yarder in here. Ooh, it hopped up there pretty good. I'd say it did hop up here pretty good. I just hit the fringe. Hop, no spin, coming out of that rough. Rolled up right here. Shoot, I don't even need to channel my inner Ricky to make that one. All right, we're gaining on you, Ricky. And this is one of my favorite holes here. Beautiful tee shot. This is where Ricky would play from. 443 yard, par four. It's a fun drive from here. I've played it from here. It's, it's a great hole. We get it up here at 323, and it's still a great hole. I think I might be able to compete against some of the tour pros if I play the forward tees against them, like live. That would be cool. It would be fun matchups. So no handicap, no strokes. I just get distance. I'll take it. 77 in here, 60 degree wedge, sticky grass. Just gonna flight it in just a touch right of the stick. Be right. Go in, go in. That was a good one. I want to clean up after your mess. There we go. Beautiful. All right, six, seven feet. Pretty straight, just inside right, I guess. I'm just gonna channel the Ricky. Come on, Ricky. That's what we wanted. That's what we needed. Just keep grinding. Our 15th hole is 212 from here. The Ricky T's, we'll call them. And uh, we're way up there. Luckily, 212 is a tough one for me. Par three, you gotta hug the trees on the left or play a draw in there. No thanks. We get it from 135 yards today. And I'm gonna hit a pitching wedge. <sighs> Much better angle too. Just trying to line up good. Right there. Hit my little shot in there. I hit it a little heavy. Go. I hit it a lot heavy. Not great. It's such a horrible shot. Okay, I'm just gonna have to channel all my inner rickiness again. Oh, I didn't do it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're in danger of dropping a shot here. Oh, boy. What a mess. I dropped a shot on a 135-yard par 3. To be fair, from 212, it's a hard par 3. Apparently, it's hard from 135. Okay. We were seven under, we're six under now. We gotta, we gotta light it up. 16 on the Ricky Tees, 520 yard par five, pretty straight away. And then the green is tucked away just off to the right. So kind of a late dog leg at the very end. We get it today at 445 yards. And uh, it's reachable from both tee boxes, but it's more reachable from up here. That last tee box, I went against what I said earlier take a little more club because of the longer grass it's stickier even on the tee boxes it is and the grass was growing into me from the reseeding so i should have taken the nine iron because the grass grab anyways i did hit a bad shot but either way i made all the mistakes oh shoot now we're okay okay not a great drive i'm in a bit of trouble over here so when in trouble, get out of trouble. I'm just gonna punch it up there, layer up. We'll punch it over there. Get through. Okay. Ricochet off the tree a bit, we're fine. Not the best angle, 106. Gotta go hoist it over these trees and uh, hopefully get her on. Okay, we got a pot. We're 30, 40 feet uphill. Sliding off the bunker. Usually when there's a bunker, things slide off of it, away from the trap. So I'm gonna go with that. Oh, that slid quite a bit. 
All right, well, given the drive and everything and all the tree trouble we had, par's not bad. I'm gonna guess Ricky hit this fairway or he didn't have tree trouble. You get in the trees around this place, it's tricky. That's an understatement. 17th hole for the teenage Ricky T's. We're looking at 411 yard par four. Nice slider to the right. And from uh, the Mr. Short Game T's here on 17, we got 341 yards. Let's see if we can't go birdie birdie or better and get at least within two shots of Ricky's record here. All right, not a great drive. 109 in the sticky rough. I'm going 50 degree wedge, which should work out to be just a perfect number with a little breeze in my face and everything. I love it. Okay, a little long. Let's put in the sticky stuff over here. Our last hole, Ricky would be here on this par four, 402 yards, slinger to the left a little bit. We're up here at 326, and I say we just go for it. Not the green, but the aggressive line over here and try to have a 20, 30 yards in when we're, it's all said and done. There's a lot more breeze up there than it feels. We have 80 out of the sticky grass. So we're going 54 degree. And the pin's right in the front, so I want to be a little bit beyond it. See, so we can't uh, finish in style, Ricky style. Bad shot. Now, well, at least I hit the right distance. Should I putt it? I'll putt it. Just putt it in. Try to. This is for seven under. Oh, so close. Hmm. Well, looks like Ricky Fowler got me by four shots. Six under's not bad. Hope you had a good time. Love you guys. See you next time.